Here is a knock knock joke. Knock knock. Come in, I can see you on the Google Nest doorbell, you ding dong. Hey, I thought it was time to check out Google's Nest doorbell. I've been really happy with their Nest Wi-Fi system. I have a number of other Google products like the Nest Hub Max, the Nest Minis, and you can check out those videos later. I've done reviews and demos. So overall, I've been happy with all of them and uh, they've been good. I thought if I do a doorbell camera thing, then I'll just get the Google version so it integrates with what I have. And I saw it for sale, 80 bucks off at Best Buy, so I grabbed one online. I'm gonna show you how to install it and set it up. But my main question has always been, how will it perform in a winter climate? And how long will it last in the winter? What's the lowest temperature in which it'll perform okay? I'm in Ottawa, Canada, and we can have really cold winters. Typical winter is December to March. So I'm gonna do a short term review and initial thoughts at the end of this video. And that's all I can tell you so far. How good will it be long term? So we gotta get through a winter season and I plan to do a follow up video. And during the winter, I'll be documenting how well it performs in cold temperatures, if there's any issues to know. So let's go ahead with the installation. In my case, I chose the wired version. There's also a battery powered option, which is, I imagine, easier to install. If you don't know which one to pick, Google has a self-guided step-by-step quiz on their site to see if your home would support a wired version. So mine did, I've got a wired doorbell. So basically we're replacing that with this one. So I won't have to deal with batteries and recharging, etc., etc. So let's go, let's go install it. Okay, I know you've already seen this. I thought it was worth showing again. I spent a lot of time on it, those are fun. Stop motion, actual stop motion animation, pretty cool. But no, what I, I wanted to show everything again that you get. So we're gonna unbox it all, take a look at each item, specifically up close. That was the main doorbell unit, taking out the rest here. You get some, you know, regular warranty stuff. A get started card, so it shows exactly what to do. You can download the app if you don't already have it, and then it's gonna show you step by step. This is some kind of sticker I think you're supposed to put in your window, maybe. This is the chime, it's gonna get connected to your doorbell, and uh, it's got instructions there saying, get your Nest app already, come on, get with it. What are you waiting for? This is a little box of accessories, I'll show that in a second. This is what's gonna mount on the wall or where your doorbell currently is. And then there's this um, like angle adapter. So if you wanna angle your camera so it can capture a better angle. I didn't just drop it, look, I'm putting it down nicely. Um, and then inside here, this is the rest of the accessories, a drill bit if you gotta cut into uh, brick or drill into brick and some other stuff you might not need, but it's all explained in the instructions. So here's the Nest app, you go to add new product. And this is the easiest way you can scan the back of the camera and uh, it'll recognize it and then it wants to do a few things. By the way, I'm running this on Android. This is an S22 Galaxy phone. And no, that was actually an S10. Sorry, I, uh, I recently upgraded to the S22. But um, click next, it's basically a next, next, next. Here's the compatibility checker that we did earlier. You definitely wanna do this before you buy the thing. So I'm just showing it again here, but it's on your phone as well. So you go wires only, here's my actual doorbell, what it's like inside. Your doorbell may be different, so you gotta actually match it up to what you have. And uh, you got the voltage, they recommend turning off your power. And um, so you're gonna have to turn off a breaker if you wish to, it's up to you. Um, not gonna say if I did or not, but uh, you know, here's the recommended outdoor use between minus 15 Celsius and 40 Celsius above. So it's got some, you know, extreme temperatures in the heat, but I don't know about in the cold. And that's my whole point. That's what I want to know. Will this thing work? So that's just showing how to take off the uh, the panel. And you can see inside I've got three connections. And uh, just going to loosen the wires on the existing doorbell. And this is like one of those old fashioned ones that has like a metal rod. So I've got one at the front door. I've got one at the back door. And it uh, the rod, I guess it gets pulled by an electromagnet and then it hits the metal. And uh, here I am just connecting it. I know you can't see it super well close up, but it's going to be your own specific configuration. It might not be exactly the same kind of wiring that I'm doing, so you'll have to check your wiring and your instructions on your phone when you're doing this. Okay, I'm done wiring, so I'm just squishing everything back in. And then the actual chime has like some adhesive on the back that you can pull off a little sticker and it re reveals the adhesive. And then you can put that wherever you want. I just pushed it onto the side of the uh, doorbell and then 
put the uh, the cap back on. It didn't actually fit perfectly because it's kind of pushing out a little bit, but it's okay. So here's my doorbell outside. It's weathered, uh, I'm going to say 13 years, and the plastic is, you can see it's yellowing, but it worked okay. There's four wires, but they're, uh, they're in pairs, so we got, you know, green and black and then uh, a yellow and orange or red. I can't really tell what the color was, but you're going to take those two and you're going to it's got the instructions to show you exactly what you're going to do with it. Here's the angle bracket that I was talking about. I want to have it so it's angling towards my front porch steps. If I angled, angled it the other way, it would kind of aim at a window and wouldn't really capture the whole scene. So, you know, it's it's whatever works for you. You got to try it out and see what works best. Just want to show that when I'm focusing, I stick my tongue out. Grab the two screws that came with the kit and we're going to use those to install it. And we're just going to screw it into the wall. If you don't know how to install screws, then maybe you want to get help doing this and uh, you don't want to do this kind of installation because if that's too advanced, then, uh, you know, everybody's got their own comfort level, but I'm okay doing this part. And uh, if you're not, don't feel bad. Get somebody to do it for you. Hire somebody or, or beg your dad or your, your grandpa or your uncle or your, uh, your dog. Maybe your dog can do it. So there you go. I got the two wires installed and then it just slides in and it clicks in place. And it locks in place so somebody can't come over and just grab it. They have to have the little pin key thing. I just gave away the security system. Anyways, here's uh, here's the desktop version. And I'm just uh, testing it out. See, it's got like a fisheye. Look at that. Look at this crazy guy. Don't let this guy in your house. That's very nice. Up your nose. Up yours. Up your nose. All right. Let's that's, that's be serious here. So, yeah, that's the Nest app on the desktop. It looks pretty much the same on the phone and it works well. And there's a lot of settings and stuff to go through. I'm not going to focus on that in this video because I really want to just get it installed and then plan for the winter. So there you go. Okay, so it's all set up and running and it's working well. I haven't had any issues. I've been using it for a few weeks. So I'll let you know what I think of it so far. I have the Nest app running on my Samsung Galaxy S22. I've also used the, the browser version. And uh, what do I like so far? It was fairly easy to install and it works well. What I don't like, I know there's a history with the Nest name. I don't really like the Nest name. I think they should, they should drop it. Google's got a history of changing names and replacing stuff. So just call it the Google Ding Dong. I think that would be more, you know, it, it would work better. And they lock a bunch of features in a monthly plan called Nest Aware. I wasn't aware of that. and. Uh, so I don't know if I'm going to look into that or not. Um, basically, with the without having Nest Aware, you've got still images for a small amount of time. You can do real time watching of the video and speaking through. But let me know if you have Nest Aware and if it's worth it. It's like $8.99 a month here in Canada. So make sure to subscribe if you are new here. Check back in the future for updates about the Nest doorbell from Google. You ding dong. Also, let me know your thoughts on the system if you've already used it, if you've owned it, if you've had any problems, good and bad. I like to know. All right, take care of yourself and each other.